Hello everyone, welcome to a year of game design, week one, the first episode. And this will be a year long series published once a week where we explore the question of what's it like to try to learn game design for 30 minutes a day, every day for a whole year. And you might say, well, okay, why do this? And so one thought I had is that I know there's a lot of people out there and you might be one of them who are trying to learn game design before and you've worked on a course for three weeks or a month or you've built a game or you've done a game jam, you get halfway through it and then life happens and you get distracted by this or distracted by that and you end up going away for like three weeks and like, oh yeah, that's right, I should go back and I should finish that course or I should finish that game and you dig into it and you're like, ah, I forget what I was doing. And so it becomes this kind of process where you make a little progress forward and you make some big progress backwards. And so I thought by maybe sharing this adventure that it would inspire other people maybe to try it or at least inspire other people, hopefully motivate people to get through those sticky parts and stick with it a little bit more. The second thing is that I want to use this accountability of making the weekly journal entry, which is really, again, it's not going to be tutorials. It's really going to kind of show what I've learned and show what I'm working on and then share some of the thinking behind what the learning process has been like. But I'm hoping that this weekly format will hold me accountable. So I'll get out of that kind of two steps forward, one step backward type of thing that I've been doing for quite a while. And then lastly, I hope that it will help me to get better at game design by reflecting on the learning process. We know that helps people learn better. So I'm hoping that sharing this kind of thinking will help me to think about my big goals and how I'm achieving them and then how things are going with this process of trying to develop skill at a certain thing. Now, if this is something that's interesting to you, um, subscriptions would be great as well as hitting the like button. That would be greatly appreciated because it helps get the video in front of other people's eyeballs. And I'd love to hear your comments if you want to join in. Uh, feel free to jump in and say, hey, I'll do that too, 30 minutes a day, and then post your progress. I'd love to hear how people are doing. So my big goal is to get good at that fuzzy kind of goal, is to get good at game design. Uh, the first tangible goal that I want to do, and I think it's going to take most of the year to do it, if not the whole year, is to really get good at Unity. Now, there's a ton of game engines out there, Unreal Engine, Unity, Godot, RPG Maker, Game Maker. There are a lot of other ones that I'm probably missing. There are a lot of wonderful game engines out there. I'm just picking Unity because it's the one I want to learn. And not that it's better than any others or anything like that. But there's a lot of learning material, a lot of learning resources out there. And it's a pretty flexible engine that I'm finding to be pretty powerful once I've dug into it a little bit. A little bit of background, first of all. This isn't kind of a zero, complete beginner, let's see what I can do type of experience. As I mentioned in the early part, been doing it for kind of three, two, three years now where I've kind of taken a course, finished a course, half finished another course, started a game, made a half a game, cut off all these kind of pieces around there. And somewhere in the course of that two to three years of taking programming courses and all this kind of stuff, I've picked up kind of a probably a high novice level of understanding for the process. And so it's not a complete beginner. And that's kind of the level I'm starting at. For the format of each weekly episode, what I want to definitely include are three things. One is what have I learned so far? What did I get done in the previous week to kind of show people, this is what I was working on, this is what I made, this is what I got done, this is what I'm struggling, this is kind of where the progress was. Second thing is, what's next? What do I hope to get done next? And then the third question answer is, where am I stuck and how am I doing? Is it feeling difficult? Am I stuck and frustrated in places? Is it exciting to do this part? And to kind of share some of that, that inner process of game design that I think can help people to stay motivated and stay focused on it, as well as to work through the difficult parts. Because no matter what type of a learning adventure you go on, you're going to, you're going to run into places where it gets really hard. And you've got to kind of grind through those if you're going to get to the end. So let's dig in a little bit with the first journal and uh, to kind of frame it, what am I doing specifically in terms of trying to get good at Unity? Um, right now I'm working with a course on Udemy. It's the complete C Sharp game developer, 2D game developer course. It's one of the more popular courses on Udemy for learning Unity. It's a huge course. Worked through about a third of it two or three times and gone back and started over kind of thing like that. I'm going to start uh, at the block breaker game in this course, which is about, I think, a third of the way through, maybe about a fifth of the way through. Uh, the earlier stuff I looked at, I'm like, yeah, I kind of got that down. And block breaker felt like a good part to kind of come in and refresh my memory on it. So that's the course I'm starting with. And a quick caveat, I... I don't know the people that made it. I don't get any money for them. There are tons of courses out there. And I hope over the course of the year to dig into a number of them or dig into a number of learning experiences about that. So it's no way, shape, manner, or form intended as a plug for them. Having said that, it is, it is one of the really good resources out there. So if you are interested in learning Unity, I can heartily recommend the course. It's a good course, um, at least the 
the one fifth of it that I've done three times is a really good course. So that's the, the specific format that we'll be using for the, for the first chunk of the course anyway. All right, so that's everything. Let's jump into week one. This is my week one journal. I'm gonna show what I learned, what I got done, uh, what's next and where I'm stuck and working on block breaker in Unity. So here is the first week's worth of work. This is kind of the what I got done section, what I learned. And we're looking basically at the main Unity inter interface. If you're not familiar with Unity, it's carved up into four main sections. The left-hand side, uh, basically this middle area is your workspace. We're actually putting things together. The left-hand side is where all the items in a particular scene sit. Down below here are all the project assets. So this is your stuff. You're going to pull this stuff up here into the scene on the left-hand side or in the middle and work with it in the scene. And then the right-hand side, just behind my head here, is what's called the inspector. And so if I click on an item that's in the scene, I can see all the attributes of the item over here on the right-hand side. So that's a one-minute overview of the in Unity interface just to frame the conversation if you're not familiar with it. And the unit working right now on in the in the game design course is a unit that starts to bring in physics and gravity and things like that. And so a lot of the work is really focused on things like colliders, so the bouncing in and offing. So each one of these items, and we can see all these items on the side here, the ball has a circle collider on it. It also works a lot with rigid bodies, which means that physics and gravity are going to apply to it. All the blocks sit down in this envelope, so each one of these in this folder. So all these are different blocks that sit in the game. And so it's really working with a lot of the idea behind collisions and gravity and friction and things like that that can be a component of a lot of different types of games. Uh, most of this stuff, actually all of this stuff, I felt really comfortable with. I'd done this stuff before five, six, a number of times and have forgotten a lot of it, but it was a really good refresher. So I'm really happy with the first three and a half hours worth of work, uh, how much I was get to uh, kind of get done and how much I could remember from what I did before. So I feel like it's been a great kind of restart, a kickstart again. A good way to start the year is digging in and building this kind of prototype. And we've actually got a, a functional prototype now. So we can play this at this point. If I kick up the, the start engine here, we can see what's called the game window. And uh, built to put the paddle in place and got the paddle the, the ball and the paddle to stick together until you make an initial mouse click so that's done by a script and basically the ball will travel around make some sounds and destroy the block so if i click my mouse here it's going to start to play i uh, probably won't be very good at it here but if we just bounce up oh there we go and you can get it go all the way up the top and things like that and then if you miss it goes through that lose collider condition down below so there's a, a field there that tracks it and says okay you lost it went off the the screen now and then we can play again, go to start. So we've got different scenes that are linked together. So did a little bit of that. And then it goes back to the game again, in which case you can kind of keep playing like this and go on and on and on. And so it's a, you know, it's kind of a functional game so far and it's, it's working and things like that. So that's pretty good. So all in all, I think it's been a great first week. I'm feeling really good about the learning that I've been able to get. I'm looking forward to the second week and what's next I think it's going to be some of the graphical elements, like keeping track of how many blocks are right there. And right now, there's no win condition. So even if you wipe out all the blocks, it's like the game just says, OK, well, I don't know what to do. So somehow we have to put in a win condition for this game, which means when all the blocks are gone, count the blocks. When all the blocks are gone, game's over and the person wins. And then likewise, probably put up some scoring and things like that. And I think I look at peeked ahead a little bit. There's going to be some particle, of particle effects. So the idea is you're going to have to hit the block multiple times to break it instead of just once and it disappears and it's going to kind of explode and do something really cool. So it's going to start again to look at particle effects, which are kind of an extension of those physics elements. So all in all, it's been a great refresher. I've been really excited about it. If I have to answer the question, OK, where am I stuck or any place I'm frustrated with or anything that was difficult, no, it really the learning was really straightforward. I felt like having been having done this stuff before, this was just a really good refresher. So I feel really happy with the level of progress and the level of kind of um, which was a review that I was able to do this week. The area I do still think about is and it's kind of a concept I think in game design or actually in anything is that a lot of this is kind of recipe style stuff. So the course gives you instructions and then you do it. The course is really good because it gives you challenges. We'll say, okay, next we're going to do this. See if you can do it yourself, which is kind of cool, uh, but it's not still at the level that I think I need to get to, which is basically I need to be able to take 
very loose instructions. For example, the next set that might be coming and say, okay, how would you put a scoring system in this? And rather than following kind of these small challenges or step-by-step -step instructions, is to really design that system myself and build it into Unity. So it's the difference between creating something on my own and following a recipe kind of tutorial thing like that. And that's a big skill set that I think I need to get better at and I hope to get better at over the course of the year is really that ability to conceptualize a game and design it without having to follow somebody else's recipe for that. But we're not there yet, not in a hurry for it yet, so we'll get there. It's, it's a kind of step-by-step -step kind of keep working forward. I should also mention too, just as an aside, last thing is that there's a lot of scripts in here. So down below, and basically in Unity, you're attaching scripts to items. So this is the ball script you can see down here, and the ball script attaches to the ball. Down below, we have, there's the script for the block, Here's a script for the paddle. And then there's other scripts for scene kind of lose collider and all these different things. So if we click into the kind of take a look at some of the scripting, we have currently in the game six C sharp scripts, a uh, ball, block, paddle, et cetera, things like that. And you know, they're starting to get a little bit complicated. Most of this programming, uh, actually this programming I'm feeling pretty comfortable with. They're mostly just kind of if causes some arrays and things like that. So not tremendously challenging. The part that I am finding I've forgotten a lot is um, kind of this get component thing or find object of type in terms of if you want, for example, you're working with the ball and you want to call, you want to bring in some aspect of the paddle or some aspect of the block. Oftentimes you have to get those components or find those objects and refer one object to another so it knows how to communicate with that object. And that stuff, it's been a little bit foggy, but this has been a good review. I'm starting to feel pretty good about it in terms of having picked that up. So uh, that's the, the learning for this first week, where we're going to go. Uh, kind of the emotional things, how I feel, what kind of, where am I stuck and what kind of things am I looking forward to? So looking forward to the next week. Uh, I think we're going to keep working on Block Breaker and trying to make it a little bit better. So it's probably going to be about a two, three week project. So we'll see you at the end of next week and see if I've made some progress and keep the learning going. So thanks for stopping by. If you've uh, enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to keep uh, updates of progress coming in, then please consider subscribing. Thanks a lot. Take care. Have a good day.